there's so many options for hemorrhoid creams and ointments out there. I know when people are trying to find something for, for their hemorrhoid problems, they're gonna have a hard time deciding which one to purchase. So I, I made this video to share with you my experiences. Hopefully that'll save you some time and money and help you to select the one that would work best for you. And so the first thing I did was I went on to Amazon and I looked up hemorrhoid creams and ointments and the ones that had the best reviews, I purchased them. I purchased one, tried it, didn't work, so I purchased another one and another one and so on. And I'm going to give you a review of all of the ones that I had tried and whether they worked. So the first cream that I tried was the number one product that you can find over the counter at your local drug store such as CVS and it's preparation age cream and that actually did not help at all it didn't do anything for me and I wouldn't waste my money um, buying that product again so the first product that I'm going to talk about I actually found on Amazon by looking up hemorrhoid creams and I found this product called Myung Long Myung Long Musk Hemorrhoids Ointment Cream and this was given four stars by 1,353 customers and 70% of them gave this five stars. So 70% of one, three, five, three equals 947 customers gave this five stars in helping with their hemorrhoids. So I purchased this to see how it worked. So this, the product came in a box that looked like this. And it came in a very tiny tube. So I purchased three of these and used them consistently because with medications, you need to use it um, consistently for prolonged period to really um, test their effect and um, this um, the major complaint or comment that I read on Amazon was the smell this to me smelled like medicine um, it smelled sort of like menthol with musk earthy musky smell to it um, it did that didn't bother me at all. I mean when you're putting these things on they're medicine and so it didn't smell Terrible it just smelled like medicine um, And it caused a sensation that was kind of cool cool sensation um, But it didn't help it didn't help me at all so I would not purchase this again, but hundreds and hundreds of people gave this a Gave this five stars so what I'm gonna do is put a link to where you can purchase this for the best price the next product that I'm going to talk about is Calmoceptin and I also found this through Amazon um, and if you look at the reviews most of them had like five to four and a half stars by hundreds of people this one had 1007 reviews with five stars 792 reviews with five stars they're all mostly five or four and a half stars so um, this stuff is supposed to be really great although um, I don't think all of these stars are for hemorrhoids but the product had hemorrhoids as one of the things for which it could be used so I purchased this as well to try it so the next product is Calmoceptin or Calmoceptin. And wow, this tube is this tube was huge compared to mine long. <laughs> you get a lot more bang for your buck with this. Um, this smelled like menthol because it actually does contain menthol. So the active ingredients are menthol and um, zinc oxide. So I don't know if you can see this, but it has 0.44% menthol and 20.6% zinc oxide. Gosh, um, this 
um, got wonderful reviews on Amazon for um, skin problems and it did include hemorrhoids as one of um, the indications or well one of the things that this would help treat it was all right it didn't help I would not have purchased this again especially since this isn't something that you can find you can find um, just over the counter at your local drugstore like this both of these you have to order online so that's a that's a minus okay now we're getting to the good stuff or the more effective stuff the next product that I'm going to discuss is Desitin. This I didn't even need to look up in Amazon. Desitin for people who have kids is, you know, the number one product that people use for diaper rash. It's highly effective. Um, and again, it's a lot more bang for your buck compared to buying long. This, um, I'll tell you a little story. My mom, um, during winter time, um, developed lesions around her lip. I thought it was herpes. So went to CVS and picked up a mini miniature, like half the mine long, the tiny, tiny tube of Abriva for, I think it was like $27.99 or close to $30 and put because it was so small, we put very thin layer every day, you know, I don't know, like three times a day for a week, and it did absolutely nothing because those lesions were not due to herpes, um, but it was, I um, it must have been due to um, contact dermatitis. She was having runny nose, you know, and so she kept, um, blowing our nose and it just caused a lesion around that area so we got this put it on her immediately the following day it started healing right away while with Abriva um, the lesion kept getting worse and worse so I know this stuff is like miracle product it works and um, this believe it or not has the same active ingredient as camoseptin. It has zinc oxide. But unlike camoseptin, which had 20.6%, this has zinc oxide, I don't know if you can see, 40%. This has double the amount of active ingredient. Um, you can find this everywhere. Um, I'm gonna put a link to this, um, link to where you can get this and it's from Target. Target had absolutely the best price, everyday price for zinc oxide or for desitin. So zinc oxide um, provides your skin with moisture barrier and it's an antiseptic. Um, so it um, it's good against um, bacteria and other microbes. So it's great stuff and when I tried it on hemorrhoids I really haven't heard about people trying desitin on hemorrhoids although after I started using it I look, looked it up online and some people have recommended this for hemorrhoids it did help actually help a little bit so desitin is one of two products that I'm going to recommend um, it did help a little bit um, and I, I help, I'll explain what I mean by it a little bit. Um, and it, when you put it on, it doesn't sting. Um, it will actually, I think for most people, it'll help soothe um, painful hemorrhoids if you have painful hemorrhoids. The other product that I'm going to recommend is tea tree oil. This you can find almost everywhere, you know, Target, Walmart, local drugstore. I happen to have gotten mine from Trader Joe's, but again, um, if you get, you know, 100% pure tea tree oil, you can find this um, anywhere and it's gonna be as effective. 
this is the other product that I'm going to recommend as helping hemorrhoids a little bit. This, um, this I actually think is miracle product for ac acne. Um, it's, um, the story I have is I still suffer from acne even though I'm so old. And when I put this on right away, the following day, the acne would be gone or significantly um, healed. So the redness, the inflammation is gone. This is just wonderful product for acne and I just tried it for hemorrhoids and it actually did help. It has antiseptic properties, again, so antibacterial um, and so antifungal, it's just, it's just wonderful product and people recommend that you dilute this but I just use it straight I just dab it on my finger and dab it on the acne or dab it on hemorrhoids and it does help it has a very strong smell and it actually causes like hot sensation to me but it doesn't sting but you might mistake in that hotness for stinging but it's not painful to put in um, put on so here's the story with these two products, they did help a little, but see, depending on the type of hemorrhoids, they still may or may not help. Um, these will help heal hemorrhoids that would have eventually healed on their own. These products will help expedite the healing time if you have the type of hemorrhoids that would have healed on their own. But if you have more severe cases such as grade three and grade four hemorrhoids, then there isn't any ointment or cream that you can use out, you know, out there that will help shrink and get rid of those hemorrhoids. So grade three are the types of hemorrhoids that are, are internal hemorrhoids that protrude out when you have bowel movement. So, and when you stick them back in, they'll stay in. But every time you have bowel movement, they'll come back out. Grade four are the types of hemorrhoids where once they protrude, you can't stick them back in because when you try to poke them back in your butt or using your finger, they'll come right back out. And those absolutely require other medical interventions such as surgery or rubber banding or IRC, infrared coagulation. But even these may or may not help. Um, the most um, sure cure would be surgery, but even surgery is not 100%. Um, people will develop hemorrhoids again, um, and so that's the unfortunate thing. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe by clicking on the button below.